Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this trendy title animation in After Effects. As you can see that this looks very professional and minimal as well. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create a new solid. So right click, new solid and we can pick a dark color, something like this. Just click on OK. Now we are ready to add our text. So for that, just select the text tool and just click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type animation and let's change its color to white. Now we can select the text and let's align it to the center of this comp. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also, I'm using the Gibson bold italic font, but it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever font you want. Now let's select this and let's make it anchor point in the center. For that, let's hold down the control key and double click on this so that the anchor point is in the center. Now we can select the layer and let's press S and now I'm going to just scale this. So let's set this to something like 200. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. Now I'm going to select the text and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now you can type your other text and let's duplicate it one more time and type one more text. Now let's align the text for that. Just simply select the layer and we can just press the shift and arrow keys to move the text. Something like this. Now we are ready to add a rectangle for that. Just simply select the rectangle tool and you can double click on it so that it will create a rectangle. Now go into the rectangle settings and open up rectangle path and from here we are going to uncheck the size properties and let's just decrease its size. Let me just quickly place it below so that we are able to see what we are doing. So just scale this down something like this. Also let's go under the transform and from here I'm going to just change this skew to something like 7.2 or 7 whatever you want. Now we can make this trimmer and let's move it something like this and now we can just simply lower its width something like this so yeah i think this is looking fine let's select the title and i'm going to just quickly change its color to the background so that it matches it now i'm going to select the shape once again and press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to make a boundary of it for that let's select the shape layer and let's select the shape tool and if you click on fill you can see that we can set the fill to none and after that you can just simply increase the stroke so it's already set to 7. Now we can probably select this and let's again go inside the rectangle path and just simply increase its size. Now it's completely up to you. You can pick whatever size you want. And I'm going to just simply move the text little bit up as well. Something like this. So now we are done with this and let's start animating them. First I'm going to select this and let's rename this to outer. And let's select this and let's rename this to base. Now I'm going to place the base on below our title and the outer on the top. After that, select the base, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And let's select this one and let's call this mask. And just duplicate it once again and place it on top of the second text. After that, select the animation text and let's change the track mat to alpha inverted and let's do the same thing with the trending text. If you're not able to see these options, then you can click over here. Now we can start animating the text. For that, let's select the text and let's go under the text property. Just click on animate and let's select the position. Now I'm going to just change the position. So we want the text to come from the top. For that, I'm going to just simply move it to something like this and let's set this to negative 60. After that, go under the range selector and let's add a keyframe for the offset and let's set this to negative 100 and let's go to somewhere around two and a half seconds and let's set this to 100. Now go under the advance and let's change the shape from square to ramp up and the ease high to something like negative 100. So if I play, you can see we have this animation and let's select the keyframes and press F9 to ease them or you can right click ease ease. After that, let's go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different, then make sure you are in the edit speed graph. Now let's select the endpoints and I'm going to just change the graph to look something like this. So now if I play back here, you can see we have this animation. Now if you want, you can just simply move the text little bit to this side so that it's completely under the layer. 
just like this now we can probably go outside let's select the animator and press ctrl c to copy it and let's go to the very beginning now let's select the trendy title and press ctrl v to paste it now let's go under the trendy options and we have to just simply change the position parameter and i'm going to set this to 60 just like that so if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation and let's go to the base and let's animate it quickly so select this press s and add a keyframe let's move this to somewhere around two seconds and in the beginning i'm going to just simply set this to zero now let's zoom out again select the keyframes press f9 and let's change the graph something like this maybe we can increase this more and let's decrease the distance between the keyframes now let's select the base layer and i'm going to duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and let's place it on top of the text layer after that let's change its track matte option to alpha matte so if i play back we have this sort of animation and the last step is to animate the outer ring for that let's select this and let's go under the add and let's add a trim path let's open up trim path and i'm going to add keyframes to both of these and let's set this to 50 and this to 50 as well after that let's pick a point somewhere around 2 and let's set this to 100 and this one to 0 now you can see that our animation is coming from this angle but it's completely up to you if you want to have this look then it's completely fine but if you want to change the angle then you can just simply use the offset property something like this to offset the path just like that so now if i play back here you can see we have the animation from the center again we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph and i'm going to just quickly change it to something like this so if i play back let's add more easing just like that so if i play back here you can see we have this animation again you can select the keyframes and let's move them closer so i think this is looking fine now we can probably add some delay to the layers so first we want the outer ring to come and we want these texts to come a little bit later so let's select them along with the mask and just move them slightly ahead just like that so this is how you can create these kind of animations now you can enhance this more by simply adding a really nice scale animation for that let's create a null object after that select all the layers except the background and let's parent it to the null let's select this press s add a keyframe and in the beginning let's increase this value to something like this after that select the keyframes press f9 and let's go to the graph just change it to something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this really nice animation in the scale we can probably do this as well so there you go this is how you can create these kind of trendy title animation if you want you can add gradient to these and it will really enhance the look for that just search for gradient ramp and let's drag it onto the base now let's move the endpoints to somewhere around here and just quickly change the color so it's completely up to you you can pick whatever color you want for this example i'm going to just simply pick these colors just select this press ctrl c to copy it and just paste it onto the outer ring as well so there you go now you can see we have this really nice gradient effect and the title animation as well so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one